Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're due for another Eden run. I'm getting back into the swing of things, baby. I was watching one of these videos in my head. Oh, that is like Cursed Eye Kamikaze. There's a seed for you. Those of you who want to, you know, play Nightmare Mode at home. Um, I was listening to like the first video that I recorded here. I actually think that with this acoustic foam up, I just love having every opportunity to say acoustic foam. But with this, uh, you know, foam sound dampening up here, I think it's actually, uh, it sounds quite nice. It sounds a little echoey in my head, but in the actual, like, on the microphone, it sounds, sounds gorgeous. You might be saying, oh, GG, this run's already fucked. I don't necessarily think so. Uh, Kamikaze, look, not in love with it. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Um, Cursed Eye, I like. I tend to prefer it when you got a little, you know, you got some other meritous items uh, that you can roll with. The thing with, uh, oh shit, oh god, oh don't burn me so bad, fly, oh, oh jeez, okay, this maybe it's, it is fucked. Are you a wizard? Are you a Yolandi wizard? I don't think so. Do we really only shoot out of this one eye now? That's actually kind of convenient. Red hearts, I desperately desire them. Um, well shit, we're probably better off with bottle of pills, aren't we? Now that I think about it, uh... How are we going to do this? Well, very, very slowly is the, the first answer to your question. We're going to wait until uh, this shit is over with. And then we're not going to get hit, and I'm going to win this run, and everybody's going to think that Northern Lion, you know, it's going to become synonymous again with being uh, a good Binding of Isaac player, I'll tell you that much. Garanteed. I'm a little... Uh, Skeptical of our chances now that I've lost so much HP to start with here I was actually kind of excited to have kamikaze and then be like, you know We're gonna blow up tinted rocks with this. It's gonna be badass. We're gonna win the nightmare run We still could win the nightmare run. Oh, that's it right there tinted rock. That's how we win Yeah, okay It's exactly what we wanted Probably could have waited an extra second and by second. I mean like the rest of the floor on that uh, tinted rock but, or on the spirit art, I should say, but I was really just trying to guarantee survival as well as I could. Um, I would actually love to go to the curse room now as well. I think we can totally justify it. All right, I think after a, a pretty dire opening, we've actually, oh, fucking god dang it, Bobby. I think we pulled ourselves out of this reasonably well, but I gotta stop getting teleported with Cursed Eye. And by, that was a bullshit way of passing blame. I am gonna lose my spirit heart here. I don't care, it was worth it. Um, I'm not getting teleported. I am choosing to be teleported. I don't buy into that bullshit principle very often, but in this situation, I could be more fastidious with my teleporting, like with my charging abilities, basically. So let's, uh, let's stop blaming the game. This is what you get when you play as Eden sometimes. You're gonna get shit that starts out a little wonky, but this could make for a beautiful run. And this is really the ultimate test, isn't it? Yo, yeah, you like you like Cursed Eye so much? What if we just oh, what if we just fucking start you with Cursed Eye? I didn't think that I was gonna teleport there because I actually thought that um, our charge would be fully done. You only get teleported if, if, if you're at like a partial charge. If you're at full charge with zero charge, you don't get teleported. I figured that within like a second and a half, it's pretty difficult with this hood on to see how much I'm charging, but within like a half a second, we'd get a full charge, but it's really more like a second and a half, so we've got to be very cautious, and I mean, it all comes down to the basics, don't get hit. At the very least, we're going to get one extra HP, uh, assuming I don't completely fuck it up multiple times against, uh, you know, the remaining Larry Jr. fight. And we're going to be leaving with a decent amount of consumables. That, at this point, that seems a little bit like overkill, but I'm very happy to have gotten uh, enough money to maybe buy a uh, Spirit Heart on the next floor if I have to. And spawn a, a Blood Bank as well. Are you a wizard? I will probably have to say no to that question, to be honest with you. So if enemies are close to you, just don't fire. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but... If enemies are close to you, it seems to make the most sense to really just hold that charge so that you can't be teleported. It's the safest thing you can possibly do. And apart from that, just try to stand uh, roughly in the middle. Pretty sure at this point, if I get hit, the black heart would kill them all. Oh my god, did you see that? Pretty lucky. Um, 
But, you know, we'd have to ensure that we didn't get teleported as they were dying. That was a really dumb shot right there, but... It's harder than it looks, I promise you. Okay, there's one, two dead, three dead, and a pretty good upgrade. All right. Down to the next floor. No problems. This is an easy run. <laughs> Never a doubt in my mind. Hopefully we get the ability to replace... Uh, what we got going on here with something better. Well, not replace it. Like, I don't want to replace Cursed Eye. I just want to get something that goes over top of it that makes it awesome. Alright, so we picked up like five cents, basically, for coming in there. I do want to go to the Curse Room, but we're not going to be able to swing that uh, super easily here. Why are my shots so big now? That's weird. Should have put this on the other side. Maybe we could have gotten like a... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Like a crawl space out of it? It's pretty unlikely, though. Plenty of keys, and, uh, okay, this is alright. Minus Touch is pretty good. Recently found out, I think this was a, a revelation to pretty much everybody, but recently found out that Midas Touch does contact damage equal to the amount of money you have, which is actually amazing. Like, that's, it's amazing that we're still learning stuff about Isaac, but it's also amazing that you could actually get, a, a, like, walking into an enemy and do 99 damage. Like, that's fucking incredible. So, uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for maybe, like, a Unicorn Stump, you know, dollar combo or something like that. It's pretty unlikely. The only dollar combo we're likely to see is gonna be a McDonald's, am I right? <laughs> Here's how much of a loser I was when I was in college. We used to, you know, go out to the bar, go out to the club, or on the way to the, the establishment that served alcoholic beverages. We would talk to people and be like, hey, you know, there's a place right down the street that has drinks for a dollar. And people would be like, oh my god, any drink for a dollar? What's it called? We'd be like, I'm not really from around here, I'm from out of town, but it's called McDonald's. And then people would just walk the fuck away. And those was, was good times. I had a lot of good times back then. Alright, Brimstone plus the Pact. Probably turns this... Oh my god. Probably turns this into an instant win, to be honest with you. So I'm a lot less salty about the situation, but I have no freaking idea how um how that's gonna work with cursed eye but we should just be like the strongest we've ever been and that's always encouraging bombs are key eh, I can live with it I was yeah I'll blow this up we've been not very kind to our donation machine recently but it would be nice Wow okay it would be nice to be able to get PhD considering we do have the um, Mom's bottle of, of pills. So we could have saved some keys there, which in hindsight actually looks like a pretty darn good idea. Tell you what, we'll blow up this bad boy again after giving him one cent for conceivably no reason. And then we'll uh, pick up a key, and then I think we'll blow it up one more time, because I'm an idiot. And, uh, and then we'll blow it up one more time, because it hasn't given me what I wanted yet. And then we'll be able to pick up this right here, and after picking that up, we're going to go to our uh, curse room. And then we'll be on our merry way. I mean, it's taken us a long time here to finish this floor, but I think it's been worth it. We've pretty much gotten the most powerful items in the game. It was definitely worth coming in here, that's for sure. This run should... There should be zero chance for a loss on this run right now. And that doesn't mean there is zero chance for a loss, but there should be zero chance for a loss. The only way it can happen is seriously terrible play. And really, all we need to go on uh, from this point onwards is really... The ability to fly? Like, if we can get a flying item, I'm pretty sure we're set. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that there is an eternal heart nestled somewhere over here. Alright. Well, I did say nestled. It could still be nestled somewhere. Maybe I didn't figure it out. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, Caves Part 1, Curse of the Blind. This is another thing that could actually ruin our run. If we get, like, soy milk here. I've had soy milk brimstone before. I'm not sure if I've had it in the videos, but I've had it on the stream for sure. And, uh, that's because on the stream, I get feedback in real time, and it makes me self-conscious, so people are like, Pick it up, pussy! And I'm like, alright, alright, don't he... <laughs> I'll say whatever you want, just give me back my son! And, uh... That's pretty much, uh, how it goes down. Now I end up having those runs where I, like, have a great run, and then re-roll it, and then it becomes a great run, and then people are like, re-roll it again, pussy! And I'm like, alright, I'll re-roll it again, if I get the opportunity to do so. It's one of the few times I actually can make use of Counterfeit Penny. It's not my favorite trinket in the game. I've got a decent amount of disdain for it, actually, but it's it's relatively useful, I suppose. Halo pickup is, is quite nice, and what I'm really hoping for here is uh, yet another deal with the devil. 
Will it happen? Probably not. But that's okay. We don't really need it to succeed if we don't get it. Just pretty much any DPS upgrade would also be amazing. Already uh, kicking ass and taking names here. For example, this guy's name. Megama. We have to find Dr. Wowie. It's, you know, this is a lazy joke at this point. Well, meat's a great pickup as well. Thank God for that uh, PhD as well. Giving me all sorts of great pills like Are You a Wizard and I Found Pills. Pretty much the the top of the barrel. Hey, if the bottom of the barrel is, is shit, the top of the barrel's got to be good. It's just the Fermi's exclusion principle. If you ever want to sound smart, here's your um, here's your formula. Famous scientist or mathematician followed by the word that sounds like it fits. That's the tricky part. That's on you. Followed by principle or, you know, paradox or condition, for example. Well, you know, we can fit through there. It's just Euler's double slit. <laughs> Pardon me. Euler's double slit condition. You know, everyone knows about that. The Fermi exclusion principle, you guys haven't heard of that? Oh, it's, a, it's huge in mathematician circles these days. It's the biggest. It's like the gossip girl of mathematician circles. You guys should really pick up a pick up a book sometime. Learn something. What do you think about this? I think I'm thinking I'll probably do like a little of that. Oh, all right, that was very much not worth it. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that we st we still had some stuff to do up there. Why are we going fuck everything? Why are we going too slow for boss rush? That doesn't seem like the right way to handle this. Maybe I didn't have enough keys before, so I didn't come up here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Oh, fanny pack. That is probably basically exactly worth it, which is it could be worse, you know. All right, only lost one black card in there. Still rolling, partner. Nothing to sweat about. I'm gonna save my two bombs. Those are both uh, I found pills, so I'm not taking that. Not interested. Catacombs part two. Pop our death card in here right off the bat. Hopefully strong enough to kill. And eh, it, it did all right. Try for a magic mush there. Now I think about it. Didn't we already get magic mush? But any pill that we get is advantageous. We'll take liberty cap over counterfeit penny. Even though there's something to be said for counterfeit penny in this situation for sure. Oh, this is good. Balls of steel is huge. Now we will go to the curse room. And I guess we'll telepills out even though it's a bit of a risk. And we get Gimpy for free. Really good track record on these rooms so far. And we actually teleported into our secret room, which is amazing. Almost enough money to make our shop worthwhile. I really thought we'd be able to get them, but I guess those guys are champions. A little tankier, I can understand it. It's I Found Pills again! Everybody's favorite pill that is shitty, but technically not bad, but it's bad because it should be good. I Found Pills, everybody. Emperor card, fantastic. Little bit better than I found pills, just in case you were keeping score at home, which you should be for your own notes. Whoa, that was dangerous. Um, that was even more dangerous because I ended up taking damage. That's just your standard um, Rutherford certainty condition right there. Rutherford's first law of certainty. You guys aren't familiar with that? Oh my god. In the physicist, physicist bunkers, it is like the hottest theory right now. It's like Oprah's The Secret. But it's not a secret, because everyone's talking about it. Had a feeling we'd fight Krampus here. I guess at this point, um, it really doesn't matter. I was hoping that it would be Lump of Coal just to help out a little bit, but... Um, is Krampus's head... I mean, we already have so much good stuff. Like, with our actual damage, that I don't really care about a Krampus's head once every six rooms. The reason I'm sticking with this, by the way, is... Maybe it's stupid, but I got faith. You know, it's like Limp Biscuit said. Gotta have fur! <laughs> if I'd really put my all into that one, I think there's a better joke to be had in there. But anyway, um... We, uh, like, we have PhD. Conceivably, we should be able to get... I mean, this is not really worth it, probably, but... Oh, we'll try that on for size. Conceivably, we should be able to get, um, like, balls of steel, speed upgrades, tears upgrades, HP upgrades, more telepills, you know, shit like that. It'll come eventually, right? We can't just get I can, or I found pills forever. It won't happen like that. I hope. I can't believe we're still going to be a little too slow for boss rush as well. It's very surprising to me. 
But we could we could pivot this into a boss rush run. All we gotta do is use our Emperor card to teleport away, but it's a shit teleport card for boss rush purposes. Alright, play my cards right. Should be able to get through this very easily like so. And we'll try shooting that. We've already seen counterfeit penny, so I was very confident we'd get just money there. Yeah, I didn't really want to open that, but kind of forced my hand a little bit. Okay, like three of you at once. Not even close. There we go. Another spirit art's always nice. Lock up. That's like that makes it all worthwhile right there. So now I can't even go to my shop and my item room. I can only choose one. I'm displeased by this turn of events. We'll start with shop in case there's a key. Had a feeling we might be fighting greed. Seems like a pretty common event. And we picked up another bomb. All right, well, I guess we won't be going to our item room, because instead I opened a golden chest that gave me a single bomb. Tell you what, thanks, Fanny Pack. Much appreciate that uh, single penny. Continue exploring, but I really doubt we're going to be able to get a key. And you know what? That's all right. We don't really need that item room to be successful on this run. It's just nice to have it. And we'll come down this way. So we're still, like, super slow, man. Yeah, this is Catacombs 2. We're going to be, like... A minute basically slow which is very strange to me as you know someone with brimstone here brimstone decent damage we haven't had too many damage increases but we've had you know the halo guppy's collar for free is pretty sweet maybe I'm just being really slow at killing these rooms and like the occasional backtracking is just adding up to make it uh, make it a little trickier than it should be because of my own idiocy but hey it's all right I can call myself an idiot. I can use the I word. You can't use it. You can use, like, ignoramus. I don't know if I ever told this story on stream. I think, or on, on the show. I think I've told it once, but, uh... I, uh... When I, when I taught English in South Korea, I started out as, you know, the kind of teacher who comes in... This is... I was teaching, like, eight-year-olds. I was just an idiot. <laughs> so I'd, like, come into class, and I'd, like... I'd be the teacher... I didn't literally do this, but you guys know you've seen it in, like, media and stuff like that, where... Um, teacher will like turn his chair around backwards and be like, I'm not like these other teachers. I'm fresh out of college. I'm basically just like you guys. I still remember what it's like to be a kid. And then on the first day, they're like, hey, Ryan, teacher. And then on the second day, they're like, we can fuck with this guy relentlessly. He's not going to punish us at all. So that was like me for the first like two months that I taught. In Ooh, that was really dumb. The first two months that I taught in Korea. And then for the like last ten months, I went exactly the opposite way. And, um... I, I was like the ultimate hard ass. I, I subscribed to the principle they talk about about prison, where it's like on the first day, you either fuck somebody up or you become somebody's bitch. I wasn't actually fighting the kids, but like any kid started anything to try because they test you, man. That's what they do. It sounds cynical, but they'll test you. They'll they'll break the rules a little bit and see like, hey, is this guy a hard ass? And if you let it go, they're like, yeah, we can get away with anything. So what I did was I uh, just went in the exact opposite direction. Day one. Some kid is trying to be a troublemaker, boom. Detention. Like, call your mom. You're fucking out, son. Don't try that shit in Ryan teacher's classroom. But one day, uh, I heard the talking Korean, speaking in Korean was a, a rule. Like, there's a rule against it because it's English immersion. I, I didn't make the rules, I just enforced them. Most of the time. So, uh, you know, I heard one of the kids was like, blah, 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 blah. Ryan teacher, dunga bunga. I was like, Dunga Bunga? What the fuck is Dunga Bunga? Like, I spoke a little bit Korean, enough to know the curse words so that I could use them myself or so that I could, uh, I don't think we need that dime necessarily. So that if I, a student said them, I could be like, oh shit, you know? Hey, principal, this kid was saying some shit that he shouldn't be saying. But anyway, um, so I was like, Ethan, Ryan teaches Dunga Bunga? You think Ryan teaches Dunga Bunga? And Ethan just looked at me like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, you know? And he's like, you, you think I'm Dunga Bunga? Go to, the, like, the principal's office and tell her what happened. And then he went to the principal's office and he didn't come back to that class, which is fine. And then I never really heard anything else about it. It's a pretty good upgrade here. I never really heard anything else about it, but then, like, I, my wife's Korean? Or she's from Korea originally, at least. She's Canadian, but I, um, was like, this one time, this kid called me Dunga Bunga. Like, what does Dunga Bunga mean? And then... She's like, that's not like a Korean word, that's just like, that's nonsense. So I'm pretty sure that what happened is that the kid probably was trying to say something in English. He, was, he wasn't like, he didn't put up his hand and say it, like he was talking to somebody else. It was, I'm not that big of an asshole. But he was probably trying to say like one of the lesson words in English, and then I was like, go to the principal's office. So he was probably very confused. On the other hand, he didn't fuck around in class after that, I'll tell you that much. 
He was... I, I crushed that flower. It will never blossom again. Awaz rune. Awaz rune. Not really that useful. So yeah, that's my, that's my story about teaching. I got a couple more stories about teaching. On the first day, like, this is what I mean. You might be saying, oh, you're so cynical. Kids don't try to test you. Yo, I don't know if you, like, if you're watching this, you're, like, 16. You might be mature enough that you're like, I really need to get into university or I'm going to die, right? Like, you're you're in that phase, perhaps, or maybe you're a troublemaker. It doesn't fucking matter to me. I'm just happy you're here. Um, but maybe you're in that phase where you take everything seriously. But when you're, like, 11 in, like, after-school English class, you're... you're Pushing the teacher, all right. First day of my first class ever, was a kid walked up and just like punched me straight in the scrotum. I was like, all right, well, this is how it's gonna be. I got a pretty strong scrotum. I don't really want to be taking hits to it every day for the rest of my you know teaching career. But anyway, that's that. We're at 18 minutes here, so I could teleport, or I, I could do boss rush and teleport, but I'd rather do our shop first. It turns out we're actually gonna be like right on time, which is awesome. I'm gonna sacrifice half a spirit heart. It's actually gonna be a full spirit heart to do this, but. Oh, we got one back anyway, and we got bombs or keys, so I think it was worth it. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through one more fucking time to get that spirit heart back. And yeah, we got a bomb back for it anyway. This is how it works, and I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm dead, but check out all the consumables I picked up on the way. Alright, well, well, we'll pick this up right now and then just use it. Telepills is better than the Emperor, I guess, for dealing with that boss rush. Algiz rune is very useful. But I'd rather have the Emperor card to actually skip the Cathedral than the Algiz rune, honestly. Half laziness and half, like, very good strategy, I think, honestly. I get it, though, because when you're a kid, like, school is like your... Oh, I, I could have been hit on the backswing there. School's like your social order, right? You know, like, that's where you'd, you're you making friends and, you know, impressing the girls that eventually you're going to try to get pregnant, at least from, like, an evolutionary genetic standpoint. I get it, man. Those are formative years. For your teacher, I was like, I'm just here making, like... $40 a day, <laughs> please help me. Um, like, not a, not enough money from at least a Western standpoint to justify getting kicked in the testicles, at least. Probably, I mean, if you're looking at like Steve-O or Johnny Knoxville, those guys are probably at least pulling six figures. I'm hoping, at least. Maybe they just do it for the love of the game. All right, so we should be able to pick up a lot of spirit hearts here. This is still, like, borderline unlosable run. What I have to do to make... Oh, you know what we can do? Next time the foot comes down, let's run into it. We got a little contact damage from uh, from Midas Touch. That could help out a ton. I don't know if we're going to be able to do Boss Rush. Starting to be very skeptical about that. Thanks for putting the foot down, Mom, by the way. Like, after I said, whoa, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, we got to go in. <laughs> uh, I think Ipecac gives us a damage bonus in this situation. Can't say for sure. Yeah, we'll try. I mean, well, sure, Bob's brain. Um, I hope it gives us a damage bonus. If it doesn't, hey, at least we didn't really lose much in the process anyway. Speaking of which, I hope we didn't miss out on a deal with the devil because I just went for the boss rush so quickly. But whatever, you know. We we played our hands and now we have to deal them. Something like that. That's an expression. Well, almost went down there without taking the Polaroid. That probably would have been the dumbest decision I've ever made in Isaac. It would be up there at least. Let's get another another pill set up here. Oh, this is good. I like this room. I, I hate this room for its ability to hit me even when I should not be hit, but uh, I love this room for the potential sweet ass you know, tarot cards and damage upgrades we can pick up. Damage upgrades? Well, Dry Baby, it's not really a damage upgrade, but you get the idea. Two of Hearts, um, not particularly strong. Bombs are key, not particularly interesting. The Moon, a little bit more interesting now, getting down to it. Got your lovers, not very good. Ah, okay, that's, that's more along the lines of what I was looking for. So let's take the Moon card here. I think we'll use it on the next... No, actually, we used it on this floor because we want to take the Emperor card with us. That's the whole reason we were even still here. Luck up. It's good enough. I found pills. Are you a wizard? Wow, we got the Steam Sale. That is just completely useless. Not very happy with my own idiocy there, but bombs are rolling out of control here. I, don't, I really don't know if Ipecac helped us, but at least we, we got it, right? <laughs> Certainly could have been worse. Can't believe I didn't walk on the spikes there. I'm a little impressed with myself. 
So we will... It's Algia's Ruin. I think the Emperor is still more valuable. You may disagree. That's your that's your right. Figured we might as well snag a little bit more money because we get the contact damage from Midas's touch. Midas Midas's touch? Trust the Midas's touch. Doesn't really work. Um I, I combine that in my head with a sugar crisp song. Can't get enough of that Midas touch. You can never get enough. That's not me doing that voice, that's the sugar bear, so don't be on my ass about it. Alright, the chemical peel pickup, it's fine. It's, I'm not writing home about it. Dear mom and pop, you know, war sucks pretty bad, but at least I got this chemical peel. But uh, it's it's helpful. As is that one bomb. And of course, you know, what I'm hoping for is the deal with the devil here. We already have two guppy items. A third guppy item would really go a long way towards swinging this one. Like, this, this would be very good. There's our tinted rock. Small rock. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna guarantee ourselves a deal. And we've already fought Krampus, thankfully. Got that monkey off our back. All we gotta do is, uh... Find ourselves in a little bit of a better position. Beat the boss, have some HP left, enough HP. I mean, we could just... It was really dumb there. Could just straight up kill ourselves to take a deal with the devil, but it's probably not the proper course of action. If we can avoid it. It might very well be the proper course of, ac of action if we can't avoid it. But if we can avoid it, let's avoid it. Again, um, you know me. I love skipping needless currency. Where the heck is that going to come down then? Uh, I love skipping needless currency, but it's not really needless currency for us in this situation. Because we get contact damage from it. It's unlikely to matter... But, uh, you know, if we get an item that gives us invincibility, or later on we get a rune that gives us invincibility, it would be awesome to be able to do 99 contact damage. Like, that would be crazy. There's gotta be one more. Yeah. I refuse to believe there's just one. This is dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And Pandora's box on caves, or womb one is actually pretty good. So we'll take blood clot, and we will take stem cells, and that's actually, like, a pretty sweet pickup for us, honestly. Well worth the investment. Mind you, we're getting very low on HP, but still. Yeah, I think a bomb here is a justifiable investment. Samson's lock is alright. No question about that, but I'm gonna stick with Liberty Cap. I like the occasional mapping. Tears up is worthwhile. Now I'm starting to feel a little vindicated for that, uh... You know, not taking Krampus' head and instead taking Mom's... Mom's bottle of pills. I think it's working out pretty well. That was a pretty good Bob's brain shot there as well. I'm feeling excited about that. Easy-ish. Annoying, but easy-ish. Okay, you gotta go. Is really the, the corridor to the boss is gonna be on the other side of it? I would not have expected that looking at the layout, but... That's, you know, Isaac's just full of surprises sometimes. Death fight? You know, I'm, I would welcome a single orbital right now. That's totally fine by me. And a very easy fight preceding it is awesome as well. Okay, this is a moment of truth. Guppy, please. Oh, Fear Shot Book of Belial, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, we will take both. Just to fuck with it. Now, the we don't get any value out of Book of Belial except for the damage, but that's good enough for me to take it, I think, for these late game rooms. Especially with Nun's Habit, you know. Uh, I, I think it's very justifiable. And the Fear Shot... Taking it less for the fear shot purposes, more for the uh, the raw damage that it gives you. Might as well see if maybe there's a black market here. Things are going to start to move very fast once we finish with this floor, which I'm pretty excited about. You know, the the cathedral will be over very very quickly, and then we'll know pretty soon after that what our chances are going to look like. So I would love to go to this curse room, and even though we don't have very much HP, I think I will. It's a regular judgment. Um, Permanent Polaroid Invincibility doesn't matter to me, because I'm expecting to lose this life and respawn with one red HP anyway, so... Doesn't really matter to me if we take this right here. Um, I'm hoping that there's a chance that our, sec or our regular secret room is there, which there isn't, obviously, but... Alright, let's go pick that up. We're gonna lose... We're gonna lose a lot here, but I think it's still worth it. Okay, we, we actually broke even on it. A little bit better than breaking even, because we replaced a Spirit Heart with a Black Heart, but... Uh, it's not the guppy item I was looking for. At this point, like this run, it might seem super uncomfortable, but it's a very easy win. 
if we can just not lose life lose lives too early i mean that same it's pretty obvious i guess this is huge the cricket's head pickup is an enormous damage multiplier and infamy has been known to, to save us not just help us but uh really it's all about cricket's head there that was well worth the like four keys that we had to use straight up i should probably be using book of belial more often but when you're already one-shotting enemies the uh the added use of book of belial seems pretty you know non-existent can't even get out of this room. We gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I may not even get to use it, but I, I've already kind of laid out my piece on uh, why I think that it's totally fine for us to have HP, even though permanent Polaroid invincibility is a quote-unquote thing. I'm starting to think this life is actually gonna, it's gonna last, man. And I'm pretty excited by that prospect. For now, though. Uh, second secret room? There's an okay chance. Probably not worth it. Rosary beat a little bit more important for us right now. Alright, let's see if this ends up being all that it's cracked up to be. Yeah, this should be a win now. I mean, it was a win probably from the moment that we picked up Brimstone Pact on the first uh, deal with the devil. But, like, we've really... We've gone through the necessary steps to make it work. I've told some, some anecdotes that I'm proud and not proud of. And now we can... Uh, Go about with our lives here, finishing up the cathedral as quickly as possible. Admittedly, we won't have Book of Belial ready for Isaac, which was a stupid decision. I should have, uh, against Mom's heart, not used Book of Belial, and then on Isaac, uh, used Book of Belial. But, again, our damage is high enough that it's, it's largely inconsequential. The details of my childhood are quite inconsequential. I don't know why. I don't even, I like, I, I like the first Austin Powers movie, but... It's not like my favorite comedy of all time or anything like that, but I guess it was so formative for me. You know, it came out when I was like nine. It's like the perfect time for every single line in that movie to just be, you know, plunged deep within my brain forever, never to be seen again. I'm excited. This is like four videos today. All Isaac, not all of them easy, but all, uh, all wins, which is exciting. Uh, yeah, I kind of like all of these. Not, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Nod Leaf. But, admittedly, the concept of uh, Nod Leaf Midas Touch with the damage that Midas Touch gives us on contact, I mean, it's not that high right now, because I don't have very much money, but, you know, in theory, in theory, it's really good. And I'll take D20 just to be weird about it, because if we can reroll, like, shitty items into, like, a chest or something like that, then that's huge. I don't know if that was the right time to use it. We should probably wait until we fight like a greed or something like that and kill greed last, then re-roll it. But yeah, if we're re-rolling like single pennies into uh single pennies into uh into chests, which are full items, that's pretty amazing. If and only if we can swing it though. Like that that nickel, should we pick it up? I mean we do have uh we do have the contact damage from Midas Touch. That's gonna become like the new boss rush for me. I'm supposed to kill that uh, blue famine last. Shit happens, though. Where did that nickel come from? I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, totally. All right, we got enough keys to try to make good use of this, so let's do so. It's a secret room. No key beggar. Get some good pills. Maybe some uh, balls o steel. Luck up. Oh, dude, we need three luck up pills. Should allow us to get a ton of treasure chests here and a tele pills. Uh, gives us a, another chance to get an I am error room Didn't work out. That's okay If we don't get to teleport and like do multiple floors on this run, that's okay I'll live but I would like to I would like to I forgot that you were still alive. What an interesting uh, conundrum on my hands there Magic fingers not very good, but I'm expecting like a, a treasure chest on like every room So far so good Ramming speed, one of the only items in the game that I like taking just because it looks kind of cool. Because in actuality, it's pretty shitty. Actually gamed uh, Monster 2 pretty well there. No, nope, no uh, treasure chest on that room, unfortunately. Alright, being able to hit Daddy Longlegs before he can hit me, or kill Daddy Longlegs before he can hit me, is a very nice change of pace. I guess we'll, uh, we'll fight Blue Baby and theoretically kill Blue Baby. And then we'll use Undefined again? It's weird, we haven't really improved our damage all that much. Pretty easy to get through this though with uh, 
my best friend or punching bag taking like 80% of the aggro. Right, like what? 80%, 95, somewhere in there. We're in the he's gonna die real soon area of thought. All right, come on, come on. Okay, it's a second secret room. Great room for a D20. I really thought we'd be one-shotting Gertie Jr. One-shotting Gertie Jr. with Bob's brain does not count. That's a different category altogether. I'm really skeptical now that we're actually going to get the chance to teleport as much as I'd like to. I mean, we got nine keys. We could at least do, like, one super rich error room followed by more chests, but... I doubt it's going to happen now that I look at the numbers here. I will say I'm pretty impressed that we didn't have to use any of our extra lives here. Like, you know, you pick up nine lives so that you can use nine lives most of the time anyway. Um, for us to get away, like, pretty much scot-free with it is pretty awesome. Little chub. I mean, we're aiming straight with Brimstone anyway, roughly. I don't think it matters who we kill last here, but if it doesn't matter who we kill last, we'll go for Sloth. Because the, the extra tarot card can be awesome. Magician. Not really what I was looking for, but check this shit out. Yeah, we can stand slightly outside of the line of fire and still do a lot of damage. So this should allow us to get a charge. Okay. Uh, we've, we have at least one more room, but that might be it. Or like, We have more than one room, but like that might be it for charges. This last charge right here. So if we don't get this, I'll probably just head down into the next floor. Unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, that's going to do it, I think. I'll try over here. Oh, you know, we might be able to swing it now that I look at it. In fact, now that I think about it, we've got that double, or that second secret room with a lot of red hearts on it. We could probably reroll some of those into, uh... Wow, there's actually a lot more space left than I thought. We could probably reroll some of those into battery charges, and then use those battery charges with Undefined to make the teleportation happen. I was shooting at my own minion there for a while. <laughs> my mistake, I guess. Mr. Boom, the scissors. Mr. Mega, sorry. It's good enough. Fear Shot counters these guys fairly hard. It, of course, it's beneficial for me if I can actually hit something. I think we actually traveled so quickly there we missed. Seems a little bit suspect to me. There's one left? Or are we just... No, we're done. Okay. We gotta get three more rooms. We got... Uh, we've only got two. That sucks. Actually, we've only got one with any actual combat left in it. Maybe we don't have Nuns have it either, now that I think about it. And we got Mr. Mega again. I don't think you can use Anarchist Cookbook in conjunction with the D20 anymore. Might be mistaken, but... I'm still gonna do everything in my power to get this to, you know, go on a little bit longer if we can do it here. Whether or not we can is going to be an interesting question. But let's, uh, you know, walk it back and around here. Oh, we don't even have a charge on D20. Fuck it. I'm an idiot. We used it way too recently. All right, well, that's the end of this run. It was fun nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.